In this video, I will discuss the most frequently asked plant pathology questions in ICER, JRF, SRF, ASRB NET, BHU, PET and RED and other pre-PG exams. So this question I have collected from previous year question. So please see this video till the end and don't forget to subscribe my channel. This is the third part, okay? I have already uploaded two parts previously. Please see that also. So hello friends, welcome to my channel Plant Pathology Patsala. I am Jumishri Meher, PhD scholar from Banaras Hindu University. So let's start today's discussion. First one is causal agent of pineapple disease of sugarcane is? So the answer is Ceratocystis paradoxa. So the pineapple disease of sugarcane, this is a soil borne disease that is caused by a fungus that is the Ceratocystis paradoxa. This name, pineapple disease, why it is named as pineapple disease? Because when this pathogen infects this sugarcane sets, the rotting of sugarcane set occur which produce a scent or odor that is similar to the scent of ripened pineapple. That's why this disease is called as pineapple disease. Okay. The next question is crystallization of virus particle was done by. So the answer is D. Stanley. Wendell Meredith Stanley. Okay. In 1935. He first time crystallized the virus particle that is the tobacco mosaic virus. Second virus which is crystallized is the poliomyelitis virus. Okay, that was crystallized in 1955. So the first one is the tobacco mosaic virus that is crystallized by the Stanley in 1935. For this work also he got the Nobel Prize. In 1946 in the chemistry okay so the Stanley also got the Nobel Prize why this crystallization is done and what is crystallization let's discuss this also crystallization is the process of transforming the component of a virus into a organized particle and thereby the dress we can study their molecular structure using a x-ray crystallography technique okay so this is called the crystallization. First we have to organize that virus particle and then we will study that virus particle in a X-ray crystallography that is called as the crystallization. Okay. So this method was first described by the Stanley. Then next question is crystallization of virus particle was done by the use of which chemical? So the answer is ammonium sulfate. So by the Stanley in 1935, he used this chemical ammonium sulfate for the crystallization of virus. Okay. The next question is gram staining was given by. So the answer is Dr. Christian Graham. He is a great microbiologist okay, and he discovered the gram staining that is staining of bacteria and he classified the bacteria based on the staining that is the gram positive and gram negative. Later another group was added that is the acid fast bacteria okay. So three groups of bacteria are there that is gram negative, gram positive and acid fast bacteria. So in gram staining generally different type of stains are used. That is the primary strain is the crystal violet. Then a secondary stain or counter stain is also used. That is the saffrony. So this is all about the gram staining. But why this staining or why this cells or of the bacteria are receiving different type of stain? Because there is difference in the cell envelope. Some cell envelope or some bacterial cell envelope consist of cell wall, cell membrane and also outer membrane but in some cases this outer membrane is absent. That's why the 
retention of stain by different bacteria differ that is the basis of this gram staining okay the next question is cauliflower mosaic virus contain so the answer is double stranded dna cauliflower mosaic virus comes under the genus colimovirus the family is colimoviridae this is a pararetrovirus that infects cauliflower okay pararetrovirus means the replication of virus occurs through reverse transcription this is just like the retrovirus okay in retrovirus also the reverse transcription takes place mm -hmm. only difference between the pararetro and retrovirus is the pararetrovirus contain double stranded dna whereas the retrovirus contain the rna okay the next question is may streak virus contain so the answer is single stranded dna a okay may streak virus comes under the genus mastre virus that is the family is gen geminiviridae okay this virus that is the may streak virus is a major disease or major viral disease causing in mays generally occur in african countries okay it is occurring as a epidemic disease it is transmitted by the insect vector that is the leaf hopper then about the genome it is double single stranded dna and it encodes only four protein okay and uh, that four protein are mainly the code protein movement protein and two replication associated proteins okay then this genome this dna single stranded dna is monopartite in nature next is Example of enveloped viruses. So the answer is C. Tomato spotted wilt virus. Enveloped virus means the virus is having an envelope over it. The viral envelope is different from the bacterial envelope. The bacterial envelope consists of the plasma membrane, then the cell wall, and a outer membrane may or may not be present but in case of virus this is not like that the viral envelope will present as a outermost layer outside the cell outside its support protein okay and some virus may have envelope or may not have so all virus are not enveloped one it protects the genetic material of the virus when it travels between the host cell okay so it act as a protective covering then the viral envelope is typically derived from the host cell membrane because it contains some phospholipid and protein we all know that the host cell membrane or the plant cell membrane is lipoprotein bilayer structures means lipid and protein is there so this viral envelope is also containing the phospholipid and protein but it also includes some viral glycoproteins okay that glycoprotein play a very vital role in the function of virus that is it helps to identify and it binds to the receptors that is present in the host membrane then other example of this enveloped virus is rhabdovirus bunya virus and most of the retrovirus are enveloped one okay the next is first viroid infecting disease discovered in plant is so the answer is b potato spindle tuber viroid this Viroid disease is first discovered by T. O. Diner in 1971. Viroid are the smallest infectious pathogen known. Okay, this is lesser size than the virus also. 
so the smallest organism which is causing disease is the viroid it is composed of a short strand of circular single stranded rna okay so small circular single stranded rna is there as genome of the viroid and it do not contain the protein coat okay then the so the genome that is the single stranded circular rna it does not code any type of protein or mrna okay so for different cellular mechanisms it depends on the host okay for a living host it depends on that living host okay for its different mechanisms because its genome that is the circular rna it do not code any type of protein so this is all about the viroid this chrysanthemum stunt then hop stunt viroid chlorotic mortal viroid these are example of viroids okay but the first viroid discovered was the potato spindle tuber viroid the next question is insect toxicity of bt bacillus thuringiensis is due to so the answer is c protein bacillus thuringiensis this is a gram positive spore forming bacteria okay and it is naturally present in soil and produce some toxins okay that toxins is useful for managing different insect pest so this toxic bacteria produce some paraspholal crystalline inclusions okay that paraspholal crystalline inclusions are cyt site or cry cry site or cry proteins which are toxic and it is helpful for managing different types of insect and it is used as bio insecticide bio means living and insecticide means the chemical which kill the insects so it act as bio insecticide then how this toxin act this toxin will activate in alkaline condition that is the gut of the insect generally the inside the gut of the insect or the stomach of the insect the ph is very high that is alkaline ph so the toxin will activate and it act on the lining of the gut and it disrupt its system and result in the death of the insect next question is sterility mosaic disease in pigeon pea is caused by so the answer is a virus sterility mosaic virus okay this is causing disease in pigeon pea or the red ground it causes very heavy loss to the crop yield it affects the plant and the plant become stunted okay due to the shortening of the internode and the plant will look like a bushy structure okay so entire plant may become sterile or mild sterility sometime may occur okay so this is the sterility mosaic disease the next question is what is which is not a sterilizing agent so the answer is d calcium chloride all above 3r that is the mercury chloride sodium hypochlorite ethyl alcohol all these three are chemical sterilizing agents so these chemicals are generally used to sterilize the surface or seed okay you may have used in laboratory next question is sterilization means so the answer is b killing of all the organism so the sterilization is the destruction or killing of all the organisms let's discuss about the sterilization methods so sterilization can be done by three methods first one is the chemical method then physical method third one is the mechanical method in chemical method we use chemical 
to sterilize the surface or to kill the all the organisms okay present in a material surface or anything then chemicals used are alcohol aldehydes formaldehyde ethylene oxide and other gaseous agents okay so please remember this chemicals then the physical method physical method includes dry heat sterilization that is we are doing that in hot air oven okay then moist heat sterilization in moist heat sterilization this is the principle of autoclaving then next is the sunlight so soil solar radiation or solar radiation we are doing that is the use of sunlight for sterilizing or sterilizing any seed or surface or any other material then by use of radiation so for sterilization two types of radiation can be used that is ionized ionizing radiation or non ionized radiation example of ionizing radiation is uv ray and non ionizing radiation is x ray so in physical method four methods are there that is dry heat moist heat sunlight or solar radiation then radiation then coming to the third method that is the mechanical method in mechanical method we can do the scrubbing of a surface or filtration filtration is generally done for the substances or liquids that is heat labile in nature which may evaporate or destroy on the application of heat then third is the sedimentation so in mechanical method three math three process can be done for sterilization that is scrubbing filtration and sedimentation so this is all about the sterilization here another word is that disinfection disinfection and sterilization both are li just little differences there both are for decontamination of microorganism okay but in this infection the elimination of microorganism or harmful microorganism occur only from the surface of the material or the object okay but in sterilization all the microorganism will be killed not only the surface whole from the whole um, substance all the microorganism will be killed but in this infection only from the surface the microorganism that is harmful are killed so this is the difference between sterilization and disinfection so this is the end of this video i think now you are familiar with so many terms so if you found this video useful for you please let me know in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you